Let's take a look at the best updates in Photoshop 2025. And the first one would be the Remove tool. They updated the new Remove tool with the latest Firefly technology. And if you select it, you're going to see some new menus going on. There's this new menu with Find Distractions button. And if you click on it, you can see you can remove wires and cables or you can remove people. Now these options work the best if the mode is on auto, may use generative AI. So I'm gonna go and click on the people button. And this way it's going to select every person on this image. You also can see it selected these tiny people on the bridge, which is quite insane. And as you can see, this option is still editable. So you can go on the image and select a couple of more things. For example, I'm gonna go and click on the duck. I'm also gonna select that. And maybe this little red thing here. And now I can go and click on the checkbox. And check this out, it worked perfectly from the first try. So this one is the edited layer. If I'm gonna uncheck it, this is the original one. Now, unfortunately, this won't work all the time. For example, I got this image with the Grand Center Station in New York, and I'm gonna go and repeat the same process, select the Remove tool, click on People, and as you can see, it selected all the image. So in this situation, what I did is I went to Image, Adjustments, and select the curves, and here I'm gonna go and increase the contrast quite a bit, and I'm gonna click OK, press Ctrl J to duplicate, and now we're gonna go and try it again, People. And take a look at that. It managed to select most of the people correctly from the image. Now take that in mind, this is long exposure, so you can see these ghost personas moving around. And I'm also gonna add some more here. Just fill it up. And now I can go and click on the checkbox. Now you still got a couple of subjects and it kind of destroyed this area, but unfortunately this won't work all the time perfectly, but it's still a work in progress. Now let's take a look at the second option with the wires and cables. So apparently this is going to remove all the power lines which you can find in the cities. So I'm gonna click on this button. Now this is going to load up slower because it is going to remove it automatically. So you cannot edit this how you did previously with the people. Now take that in mind if you are using these crazy remove tools, it is going to use up a 100% of your CPU power. I'm running a Core i9-13900K and it is literally using up all 24 cores. So if you want to get like faster results with this new remove tool update, then you're also going to need to update your processor unfortunately and take a look at that now you can see the urban area of japan how it looks without power cables and this thing literally removed every single wire and it really made it clean well it is not perfect you still have a little bit of work to do to fix small areas careful not to break your nails now as mentioned they updated the generative field with the firefly image 3 the latest ai generator which means they also updated the generative expand crop tool so i'm gonna go and select the crop tool and let's go up here to transparent and change it to generative expand. And I'm going to zoom out and expand the image. Double click and let us do its magic. And check this out. It completed the image perfectly with these clouds. You also can switch up the clouds. And I'm also going to go and select this area like so. And I'm going to go and add a huge castle. I'm going to type in tall castle with towers. Generate. I mean, it didn't come out that tall. Let's check out the second one. Yeah, so this is quite impressive what Firefly Image 3 can do. Now take that in mind, this is not the best quality. For example, if I zoom in on the original image, you can see all these details going on. But if I go to the castle, now here the quality of this generated castle is kind of bad. Now what you can do is boost up the quality a little bit by going here to the image and clicking on this little icon, Enhance Detail. Click on it. Now it did actually make it a little bit more sharper, but I mean it's still not the best. So it was blurry versus a little bit more sharper. And now but least they also updated the remove background of the taskbar. If you don't have the taskbar, you can go to Windows and go and select the contextual taskbar. So let's go and click on remove background. And here we got two new buttons going on. You can import background or you can generate background. So let's go to generate background and I'm gonna go and type in tall tree on the right side, mountains in the background with blue sky, generate. And here we go, it put the model from an urban area into the nature. Now I did mention that the tree to be on the right side and the AI is going to put it on the left. So these are the updates in Photoshop 2025. Thanks for watching.